Koyo did an update on their shoe. Are they still worth it? Do they still look good? Do they still hold up to that same standard of quality, comfort, and minimalism that we all expect from the number one, in my opinion, common project to kill these low dupes? Now, of course, we have proven in the past that these are just as high quality as the Common Project Achilles, but they did a couple little updates that make me worry. I got a pair in. We're gonna check them out. I'm gonna show you the differences. My name is Brent Fiore, and you're watching the Ashby Tapes. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button if you love all things fashion, style, fragrance, and wellness. And without further ado, let's see if these new Koyo updates are still worth it. Koyo is a brand that I have fallen in love with. And as you can see, I have multiple pairs and will continue to buy pairs. But their flagship sneaker, the Capri Low, is that all-time Achilles Low killer, if you will, in regards to quality, comfort, and just being a overall good-looking minimal sneaker. Now, I do own multiple pairs, and I saw their update a little over a year ago on this shoe. And in the photos and the stats, I was actually disgusted. I didn't like it. I am someone who does not like change. Koyo did a couple new things to their shoe, so we're going to take a look at them and see if they're still worth it. The first and main difference is the sole. These are no longer Margum soles. Instead, they are a 100% rubber sole made out of 50% natural, 40% recycled, and 10% conventional rubber. Now, they claim it is stronger and they worked with Italian sole makers. I say that in air quotes because if you find an Italian dude who happens to make soles, he's an Italian soul maker, but I think that's all marketing. Overall, these soles look very different from the Margum outsole that is the industry gold standard for a sneaker like this. Do they look the same? No. Do they feel the same? No. Comfort wise, they are very much the same. They do have an ortholite insole in them now, which is an upgrade with a leather interior on the bottom of the sole. So that is an A+. But is the Margum sole a better option? Is this new rubber blend going to have the same quality, durability, and comfort long term? I don't know. Overall, aesthetically, I do think these do still hold the bar really well for a common project dupe. And I still think these are a great alternative just looking at the outsole. A couple other key differences in the Koyo Capri Lows, you can see them here in the triple white, is the toe box. The toe box has been widened a little bit, which I personally don't mind having a little bit wider of four feet. And my white pair took a while to break in. These seem like they are going to be comfortable right out of the box. A couple other major differences is the back. As you can see, the coil branding on the heel is a little bit different. And the patch of leather on the back is something I actually don't like about the new coil update. They have slimmed it out, but somehow made it look bulkier. I know that doesn't make sense, but somehow they accomplished this. Now, is this a make or break for me? Absolutely not. If you're looking at this shoe on someone's feet, you're not gonna notice this main difference. Heck, I barely noticed it until I started recording this video. Still a great shoe, but I do wish they kept the heel tab the same. Another couple updates is the box. This new shipping box isn't this beautiful seafoam box that I got with all my other coils, and I do have mini pairs. This is just a recyclable box. I get it, they're trying to be environmentally friendly, and I give them all props for that. But when I'm spending this much money on a shoe, I expect quality through and through. The box is something disposable, something you don't wanna put on your shelf because it doesn't look as nice as the old box as well as the dust bag on the interior has been downgraded to a little bit thinner of a canvas. Still some of the best dust bags I've ever gotten with shoes, but the original canvas shoe bags they do come with were the standard and the best. I use them to carry around toiletries, storing shoes, and this pair, I, this, this bag, I probably won't end up using nearly as much as the old one. The new insole is fine, nothing to brag about, nothing to exclaim about. It's an average ortholite insole topped with leather. It's fantastic. I don't know how it is going to wear over time, but we will definitely do a follow-up video after I get a few miles on these bad boys. Koyo, the brand founded in 2014, still makes high quality, handmade Italian leather minimalist sneakers. A brand that I can still get behind, and these changes don't make that big of a difference to me. The heel tab I wish wasn't changed. Is this something I'm going to complain about? No, I bought a new pair. I like them and I can't wait to wear them to my wedding reception in August. Me and the fiance have a matching white pair and we're gonna look awesome rocking these during the party. 
If you guys are looking for that common project Achilles low sneaker at a more affordable price point, this is a brand you definitely need to check out. Koyo's been killing it. I have a couple of their silhouettes. I actually got my fiance a pair of their boots, which she absolutely loves for Christmas this year. So overall, mm, eh, with the changes, but they will still do the trick. They're still just as high quality, and I still would recommend these to anyone looking for a simple, minimalist sneaker. If you wanna see more content like that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. If you're new here, welcome. Leave me a comment down below what you think is the best common project Achilles low killer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, Jesus loves you even more, and I will see you guys in the next one.